Uh, fuck. Ooh. All right, there we go. Ooh, why does that look so fucking weird? Hold on now. Ooh. That looks better, I think. Yeah, I'd say so. That looks a little better to me. All right, so uh, I kind of wanted to stream a little bit. I have this file that I made, you know, a couple of days ago. Just let me know if this audio sounds good, because it, it said the microphone's not necessarily working the greatest. I'm not sure. We're kind of just rocking with it, kind of raw dogging it to the point. But, um, yeah. So, just let me know if it sounds funky or whatever. Because, for whatever reason, the one setting says it's not working. I have to do it another way. It might sound fine. I, I don't know. I assume it does. At least, my assumption it does. So, we'll see. So, yeah, I started this file a couple of days ago. Uh, I haven't really played it since. This is still year one. Uh, I set up the league a little different. Uh, instead of eight team divisions, there's eight divisions of four teams. Obviously, the East and Western Conference. So, uh, let me sh let me show you guys these divisions and how we set this up because this is actually kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I wish this is how they would. And I also fucked up. Uh, I was supposed to name this Western Conference, and apparently I forgot. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Um, so here's the Northeast Division. This consists of the Toronto Maple Leafs, Boston Bruins, Montreal Canadiens, and the Ottawa Senators. If you see this division in real life. This is going to be an awesome division. Now, how this works is, since there's four teams, you will play each of your division rivals six times. So that's 18 games within your division. And then you play the rest of your conference in total 48 games. So what? That combined 18-48, that's... The brain's turning. 66? And then 82. You have 16 games against the Wets. So I think it's 66, something like that. I'm not great with math, but I think my math skills are on point there. This division, bloodbath. This would be a bloodbath in a couple years once we get these sons of bitches rolling, okay? We're in the mud right now. We are definitely in the mud. Uh, we fucking suck. Uh, well, obviously, we, uh, what's up, Saga? And what's up, Skylar? So, we, I, we, you guys know how I feel about the fucking Flyers. We're terrible. Literally, I just made a video earlier. I'm telling you, if I recorded that, let's say, well, when the news broke at 9... But I knew they were going to fire him today. I knew at 7 a.m. And I was buzzing at 7 a.m. I mean, when I tell you buzzing, I was fucking humming this morning. I'm, I'm going to tell you. I never had that much energy that early in the morning since probably last Sunday. <laughs> since last Sunday. I haven't been that hyped. So, why are we scoring a lot of goals? We're 323 in the goals four per game. Okay. <laughs> we're supposed to be shitty. Okay, well... I'm telling you, if I recorded at, let's say, before I left the house, 8 a.m., let's say I recorded 8 a.m., that might have been top 10 YouTube videos of all time. Top 10 of all time. Hey, your Jets are in the playoff spot right now. It is the West. We fucking suck. At least the Jets have a glimmer of hope. Kind of. Kind of, I'd say. Kind of. I know they've been struggling as of late, but, uh, yeah. So this division, obviously, you got to play the Devils, Islanders, and Rangers six times a season. You know how much we would, ha they would hate each other. This division collectively, they would all absolutely hate each other. And this is the Great Lakes division. Buffalo is currently winning this division. Are we? Are we tied with Buffalo? We're only a couple points back. About are we in the contention for a playoff spot? Oh no! All right. Well, I know what I got to do. Well, the East seems to be pretty strong. We also have more games than some of these teams, so that would explain that. Okay, uh, let's go through the Great Lakes. You got Buffalo, Columbus, Pittsburgh, and Detroit. That is That would be an interesting division. I want to pair Pittsburgh and Philly, but geographically, getting other teams with it and also keeping Detroit in the East just wouldn't, wouldn't make sense. And then the Southeast Division, Tampa Bay, Carolina, Florida, and the Capitals. Central Division, this is the Western Conference now. The Wild, the Jets, who are doing pretty good. So your Jets are doing pretty good in this sim. We actually are outscoring them, but they have a lot better goaltending and defense. They got Connor Hellebuck, so I would explain it. St. Louis Blues and Chicago Blackhawks in the Central. That's a pretty fire division. Pacific Division, got San Jose, LA, Arizona, Anaheim. That would be an interesting division in a couple years. All these teams are kind of struggling. Why is San Jose really good? Good question. Don't know. Don't know. Rocky Mountain Division. Now, I, I I feel strange for calling it the Rocky Mountain Division. And you have 
uh, Dallas and Nashville in the division where there's no, well, Rocky Top Tennessee. You know what? It makes sense. Rocky Top Tennessee, you know, it actually passes by, but that's still an interesting, you know, combo right there. But it's still a pretty solid division. I mean, you couldn't, I just didn't know where to put Nashville. And Northwest Division, you got Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, and Seattle. This would be an awesome division in real life. This would be a fantastic division. Obviously, the Canucks should not be this good. We all know this. They uh, they should not be that good. And also, the point, they're actually the best team in the league. Wait a minute. Holy shit, they're the best team in the league. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Uh, that's EA Sports for you. That's all I can say. That's EA. And how the point totals work, it's three points we get a uh, regulation win, two points for overtime, and one point for shootout. There's no pity point. No pity point over uh, shootout loss, overtime loss, whatever. There's no, none of that. None of that. Nope, 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 nope. None of that shit. No who sorry. All right. Let's look at the trade values. Konechny's at a top six forward high. Then there's Sandheim at an 86 overall. That seems to be quite high. Provorov in an 85. I think Provorov should be higher rated than Sandheim right now. Farabia in an 83. Cam York, Bobby Brink, Kevin Hayes. We are definitely selling. We want to be shit. Uh, see, I'm embracing this rebuild on like Chuck was. So we are definitely embracing it. The Penguins suck. I think this is the first time we're playing the Pens. It is. It's the first time we're playing them this year. I don't know if I should play it or not. I'm not sure. Kind of just want to sim. Let's get up this Boston 21, 18, and two. And that that's something. And we beat the Penguins. Oh boy. Oh okay. Well, I kind of want to start losing games. So that would be awesome. And we well we lose to the Sharks, but beat the Penguins again. So if we lose majority, oh boy, we're we're winning a little too much for my comfort. We're lin See, I usually don't do this. Uh, <laughs> no, not having it. Not having it. I want to fucking suck. I don't want to be good. It doesn't make any sense. I want to be shit. I don't want to be good. No, 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 no. No. Fuck this team. Fuck them. Fuck. Oh, oh, oh. That's it. That's it. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I might have just gave a spoiler away for the Flyers franchise series. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. I gave a Uh, Yeah. So, I was supposed to, I originally was having episode 32 of the Flyers franchise go up uh, today. It was supposed to go up today. Uh, we had, we had, uh, it was actually supposed to go up yesterday. Then I had to study. It didn't go up. And then it was going to go up today. The Chucky news happened. That got pushed back a day. Episode 32 for the Flyers franchise. Tomorrow. Coming out tomorrow. It's already scheduled. Hopefully there's no hitches in the road. It's scheduled for tomorrow. Still probably going up tomorrow. And then I also got a glimmer. A look right there. I already have the next following episode done. Probably need to see. Hopefully you guys. No one saw that. Hopefully. Hopefully no one saw that. I'm hoping. I was saying I did that all in one night. I was recording for a very, very long time. That's all I'm going to say. Very fucking long time. I I recorded for maybe a solid two and a half hours. Listen, I wasn't expecting to record for that fucking long, but I did. Uh, yeah. Maybe that was the reason why I didn't really do that well in my one midterm today. Maybe. 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 Eh, fuck it. Who cares? Eh, who cares? All right. Let's just get back to Simmon. Let's just get back to Simmon. All right. Uh, any suggestions you guys got you want me maybe to do right now? Talk about, uh, maybe look for trades, do anything. Uh, anything you guys want me to do? Why are Florida good? Failed. I, I shouldn't be cheering for us losing to Pittsburgh, but we got to embrace the tank. I'm not accepting defeat. I'm not. There we go. Now we're losing. Oh, well, after we win two games to the Sharks and the Pens. Of course, of course, of course. And we beat the Panthers. Okay, can we beat the... Oh, Provorov's out for a little bit. Just replace player. Uh, win. Oh, my God. We're winning a little too much. We're winning a little too much. Go to this Blues game. Can we stop winning? Another win. And a big loss there to the Hurricanes. I mean, we have... Uh, 23 wins, 19 losses... And six overtime. What's that? Well, that's still more losses than wins. Tony D'Angelo's got 51 points in 48 games. Okay. 
think I know what I gotta do. I know what I gotta do. Where is he? Where is this son of a bitch? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, look at that trait. No one wants him, huh? Oh, guess what? Someone's gonna take him right fucking now because we're trading him. We want to suck. Well, there's one way to do it. His value sky high right now. I would understand Lee's say so because he might be MVP. So who? You see this record? Twenty-five and twenty-four. Why are the Coyotes this good? This is just EA Sims for you. I just don't get it. I really don't understand EA Simming. I really don't get it. It makes no fucking sense. I don't understand it. I might trade him to Florida. We already have their... Oh, wait. No, we don't. Not anymore. Could trade him to Minnesota. Could retain some salary. I'm okay with doing that. Uh, Minnesota could work. Uh, I'm not trading within our division. Absolutely not. Kraken suck. Okay. The Bolts don't have enough cap space. Uh, what was the other team? It was... I mean, Vegas could go for them. I might be willing to give them to Vegas. It's either Vegas or what was the other team? Not Minnesota. It was uh, Florida. It was Florida. All right, let's look at Florida. What can we get out of Florida? Can we finesse them again? Because now we don't have their first round pick for next year because I messed with the league. Oh, I mean, we could trade with the Wild here. I would say give me your first this year, I guess. I would say this year. Uh, What do we want in back in return? I want a good player. Brock Faber. Uh, Faber? Is it Faber? Uh, something, something, something. I don't know. It's close enough. Uh, Kalen Addison, Ryan Awerke. I'm just curious to see how this would... Oh, boy. We can get more. We can get more. Yes. All right. We can definitely snag a second, uh, or something. We might even be able to get another first. No, okay, no. That, that's pushing it. That's pushing it. That is pushing it. Okay. Understandable. Uh, I mean, Boldy. Let's look at their defense. Spurgeon, Broden. They don't really need defense. If anything, uh, offensive defensemen would be the least of their needs. Let's try and finesse Florida again. We traded, well, they tr Chucky traded Drew there. Listen, I'm trying to do what's best for me. Uh, well, I guess this year, 2023, unless I can snag them for 20, eh, 2023. Uh, what are we looking here? What can we get? What can we get? What can we get? What can we get? Sam Reinhardt. Uh, yeah, they're, they're buying in. Why would they get rid of him? That would make no sense. Do they even have any fucking prospects for us? For Hagee, that's not a prospect. Uh, center. No, they don't really have anybody. That, that's quite depressing. Uh, goaltending. Center Knight. Yeah, no one. No one. All right. I don't like Florida. No. I don't like what I saw there. Uh, yeah, ship them to Chicago. That makes perfect sense. Uh, the Bruins. Whoa. Uh, Vegas. I th Vegas was another option that would actually somewhat make sense. How? Okay. With this roster, Logan Thompson's a low elite, but Carter Hart's a medium starter. That's fucking bullshit in my eyes. That's bullshit in my eyes. I. I can't fathom that. I simply, that drives me nuts. It drives me nuts knowing that they're disrespecting my boy's name. They're disrespecting my boy. Ooh, Brendan Brison could be a fire pickup. Could be fire. Uh, Throw the throw. That would be fucking awesome. Uh, Bring Nolan Patrick back. Yeah, definitely what I want to see. I have a Nolan Patrick shirt, actually. Am I reading this shit right? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I just got to double check this real quick. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. Okay. I, I, I definitely go for Brendan Brison. For show. For show. For show. Uh, Brendan Brison. Yeah. I don't know. We'd probably have to take their first this year because it seems like their 2024 first is quite highly valued. Yeah. I mean, even both of them. I mean, Brison's got some value on his ass. But you're getting a point for play, point per game defenseman, so we're gonna definitely take some of his salary as well. Uh, anyone I can snag as well, maybe like a defensive prospect they might have. Daniel Chaka. I mean that they definitely wouldn't take that. Cormier, Daniel Cormier. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely who it is. Daniel Cormier for sure. Definitely who it is. If I can't get that prospect, and let's say add on another pick like a, a, 
fourth. And then retain some salary here with Tony D'Angelo. Help Vegas out a little bit. Should I be helping Vegas out? No. But it gets me more value in this deal. A fourth. I'm just trying to finesse the shit out of them. And let's go with a sixth. All right. Fred and Briz in a first. Some prospect. A fourth and a sixth. Okay. We could potentially get more. I'm going to try and get a third. A third and maybe like a sixth. Listen, I'm, I'm trying to finesse the fuck out of them. I don't hate the player, hate the game. Can we get this to go through? I think this is a fair trade, boys, for us at least. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Yes, no. Should we pull the trigger? I believe so. Getting another first round pick in a pretty deep draft class. You get Brendan Brisson, who's going to be a nice, solid centerpiece down the middle. Trade Tony D'Angelo, get a third, a sixth, and a defensive prospect. What are we thinking? Yay or nay? Or keep modifying it and get more. That's another option. So, Y is for yay. N is for nay. M is for... Well, or it don't matter. It don't fucking matter. What are we thinking here? I'm thinking maybe I should try and squeeze a little more out of this. That's what I'm thinking. I could maybe squeeze a little more. Just a wee bit. Could it, Would it be possible to get two first? Brandon Bruce? I don't see why not. Why don't we try it? Like... The, the value is already so lopsided in our favor. If they take this, I don't know. <laughs> okay, they would. All right, so we know that we can get a third and a fourth. Okay. Okay. What about this? And maybe take him off a first, two first actually. Brendan Brizen. Let's throw in a fifth round pick. What are we thinking here? Now, this would be an ultimate fleece job if we get this done. I'm just saying absolute finale. Oh, okay. They don't want to give up that second. Maybe they don't want to get rid of that fifth round pick. What if they think that's a highly coveted pick? Is that the thing? Oh, no. They don't want to get rid of that other second. I'm not giving up much else unless I get rid of another player in a package deal. Ooh, that could be something too. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. No, never mind. I was going to say I have another first round pick. Uh, I lied. No. Um, would it be anyone else I could throw in? I'm not throwing Hayes. I could throw in Lawton. Not going to happen. Uh, Cam Atkinson. That's a lot of money for one one deal. Nick DeLaurier. Uh, or we send him a pick back in return, I'd be willing to do. Give him like a, a fifth. Tony D'Angelo, fifth. Two first. And a seventh. Would that get the job done? No. Okay, yeah, there's no shot we're getting that other first. I'm cool with just chilling, getting the third and the fourth. Let's see what's going on, Barzell. I'm trying to finesse the fuck out of Vegas. That's what we're trying to do right now. Uh, let's get their third, fourth for next year. Add that defensive prospect back on. Let's call it a day, boys, huh? Let's call it a day. Uh, defense. Uh, where is he? Where is that son of a bitch? Oh, there he is, Demon. All right. Wait, we didn't add him. What the fuck? All right, come on. Come on. Here we go. Tony D'Angelo. Look at the stat line for those that are just tuning in. 51 points in 48 games. I don't know why he's doing this, but he is. It's just EA Sports. I Listen, we can question him all we want. He has 90. I don't know why they made him this good, but they did. We know this deal can go through because I already had it almost done. Then I kind of pulled out to try and add more. I might even pull out again. Maybe I had a third round pick. I don't know if that's going to work. We have only one way to find out, and that's to try. That's to try and find out. Let's add in that third round pick, and let's see what happens. Does it work? Holy fuck. We get two thirds, a first, a nice solid-ass prospect in Brendan Brison, and we can get a third in this other prospect, 74 overall defenseman. I think this is absolute fine uh, a finesse. I almost said finesse. A finesse job by me. What if I could get a second? What if I got a second round pick? Maybe not this year, but next year. And maybe add a fourth for this year. Now, are we talking? <laughs> are they just taking any fucking trade I give them? All right. Let's add third round pick. What about this? A second, a third, a first. Holy fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Alright. Let's keep going. How about 
two seconds. A first. Brendan Brison. Okay. So it's gonna have to, we're gonna have to settle with the third round pick. Okay. We've we finally met our match. Here's the deal. Tony D'Angelo to Vegas for Brendan Brison, a first round pick for uh Slava Demon. Uh the second and a third deal has been accepted. Bye bye, Tony D'Angelo. Go fuck yourself because you were defending Chuck Fletcher. So fuck you. Get the fuck out of town. Boo bye. Boo bye. See ya. Don't let the door hit you, pal. Alright. Boom. That's how you be a GM 101, Chucky. See? Me personally, Chuck. If I was running the trade deadline with your with the Flyers, the team would be in a better position. All I'm gonna say. Would be in a better position. Do I generally think that? I don't know. I mean, it couldn't be any worse. I don't think it could be any worse. I think you put my fucking dog as GM. I don't think it could be any worse, to be honest. Uh, do I, I don't want Brendan Brison playing right yet. Chill the fuck out. Chill. He's, he's not ready yet. He ain't ready for the lights like I wasn't ready for my midterm today. Oh, boy. Uh, we'll throw in Cooper Marodi. Is that even how you say his name? I don't know. I don't know. Close enough to me. Uh, all right, now head coach preferred lines, and now here's what we're cooking. Noah K. Ooh, I want Couturier down the middle. Therby, Hayes, Konechny, Axon, Coots, Frost, Delorier, third line. What the fuck are you smoking? I want Tippett up here. Yeah, here we go. Much better. Much better. Much better. Much better. Kate's third line, a fourth line. Oof, I don't know. I don't know. We gotta rock with it for now, unless you move some shit around or something. I'm not sure, but how lines look all right, even after trading Tony D'Angelo. Defensively, we're kind of cooked, especially Provorov's heart. A little cooked, but we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Ain't no big of a deal. Who the fuck is this? Jack, Saint Ivani. I don't know who you are, but. I'll gladly welcome you to the team if you're good enough. Goaltending, yeah, I'm not happy with the potential for Carter Hart. Not happy that Logan Thompson has higher potential. I'm not happy about this at all. I am not happy. Whoever did that, doing my boy dirty. It's not his fault the team fucking sucks. It's not his fault. Don't blame the boy. Why are you using a custom league setup? Because I found it more fun. I'm. I had... I found it more fun because there'll be more division games, uh, so that would breed more rivalries, and also it'd be just more fun overall. And also, you can do one through eight for playoffs, which is much better than the Mickey Mouse shit that they do now. So yeah, uh, only problem with the custom uh, league setup is the uh, the schedule is fucking trash. It is trash how they set it up. It, it's really bad. I don't know who. I don't know why they set up the way they do, but boy, it's fucking brutal. All right, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. We're losing a whole bunch of games now. Now, as, oh, as I say that, we beat the Stars 5 nothing. Oh, boy. All right, well, the Bruins are getting better. We're getting worse, but we're better than the Devils, which makes no sense. Okay, let's go. Third lines, Hayes, Farabee, Konechny, Fra. Okay, I want... Oh, yeah, I got rid of the pity point. Oh, for sure. That was the one of the big... Re well, you can do that without doing the custom league setup. Oh, yeah. So, how it's set up, it is three points for a regulation win, two points for an overtime win, and one point for a shootout win. That's how it is set up with this. We got rid of that bullshit, stupid pity point. Just, I don't get why they do it. I really don't get why they do the stupid pity point. Why? Why? There's vacuum in the background. Just ignore it. But why? Who took out Owen Tippett? Jeez. Is he? Oh. I'm a dipshit. He got hurt. That's why he's not in the lineup, you dumb fuck. He's not in. He's, he's hurt. Holy shit. Okay. We'll put Noah Cates over here. Uh, he's a winger. Okay. Just put him there. Delory. Uh, put Adam Brooks there. Trying to talk over this fucking uh, vacuum. Pro overall from St. Ives. St. Ives should not be an 86 overall. Uh, he has not played like it this year. I understand it. He's in, what's up, Mike? Mikel or Michael? I'm gonna go Michael. I'm gonna go Michael. Hopefully, I'm just doing it right. 
uh, Carter Hart, and we also got uh, Jonathan Bernier. So I already traded James Van Reems like before the season even started. I got a second round pick and Jonathan Bernier in return. Not bad, not bad. I mean, I'm happy I got a second round pick out of it. He's lighting it up for New Jersey. Uh, why don't we go play this Bruins game? Let's play this Bruins game. Why not? Let's play this Bruins game. Um, they had the Coke Bear in this. Do they have him? They don't even have the Coke Bear in this? Nah, what? Don't even have the Meth Bear jersey. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. That is disgusting. That is just downright terrible that they don't have that. Oh, fuck. I'm going to have to fix the camera angle. Because I fixed it So for uh, one, uh, episode 33 of the Flyers. Yep, I got to fix it. Yeah, yep, yes, I do. Settings. God damn. We got double digit views in this bitch. Okay. What's going on, boys? <laughs> damn. Okay, this is like my prime Twitch days. Oh, boys, I don't think you ever heard about my prime Twitch days. Holy fuck. Uh, that was actually some electric times. I was in middle school when this was happening. I was 11, 12. I was averaging like 15 viewers a stream. Guess what game I was doing though. You guys will never guess what game I was streaming. I just want you guys to take a fucking guess. Ooh, yeah, zombie bitch. Can you show lineup? Yeah, hold on. Let me uh, let me get a stop a play. I'll show you. Just take a guess what game it was I used to stream. I just want to see. I just want to see. I got to remember what year exactly it is, too. So I might just give a hint away. Oi. Thump and chase. 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 Parabee. Parabee. Ooh. 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 Wee. One T. Proveroff. Oh, big save by all Mark. All right. Let me show you the lineup here. Wait, where do I go? Okay, edit lines. Here we go. Uh, you got Farabee on the left wing, Hayes down the middle, Connect Me on the right, Atkinson, Couturier, Frost, Cates, Lawton, Lemieux, Allison, Adam Brooks filling in for the injured Owen Tippett, and Nick Delorier. So you have that goon bottom six, kind of. Okay, then you got Sanheim, Provorov, Risto. York, Nick Sealer, and Justin Braun, and then in that, obviously, the GOAT, Carter Hart. The GOAT. The GOAT. Uh, he had a little bit of a bonehead play the other night against the Lightning. We're just not going to talk about it. He doesn't deserve to get disrespected like that on this program. No, no. I won their last four games, but we're going to put an end to that. Actually, no, we're not, because we're taking for Bedard. Oh, big save by Allmark. Hey, give me the puck. What the fuck? Right, I'm going to lay his ass out. Oh, no, no, I don't. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm also playing with sliders because we all know the base game of this fucking is atrocious. Come on. That was the... That was, uh... A little embarrassing. <laughs> that was fucking bad. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, to be fair, it's not necessarily Hart. It's the team around him. It's it's not really his fault that the team fucking sucks. If you gave him a competent, you know, team around him, he's not going to be that shitty. It's not his fault. I believe it's not his fault. I believe. We all know whose fault it is. Do I really need to say whose fault it is? Do I really need to say who it is? I think we all can come to conclusion on uh, who it actually who's at fault. I, I think we all know who's at fault. Don't need to say names, Jeff Fletcher. But um, yeah. Uh, it's not even just him. It's the entire management. They're all fucking buffoons. All, uh, all idiots. They're all fucking idiots. That's literally what they are. Actually, I think I forgot to edit out one part of the Flyers video. <laughs> I actually did forget to edit out one part of the Flyers video. <laughs> I just remembered now. Fucking idiot. <laughs> I'll keep simming. Alright. We're losing now. We are losing now. You love to see it. We're three we're three and seven in our last ten. Like this like the looks of it. Like the looks of it. Wanna we'll see where we are in the uh the lotto where we stand on it. Franchise high, Kana Badad. Damn right. Then Fantilli, Machikoff, Leo Carlson, Will Smith, 
not the Will Smith we're all thinking of that uh, slapped Chris Rock. Brandon Yeager, Oliver Moore, Axel, Sandine Polica, what a name. Uh, Dalibor Dvorsky is probably like a t high top six or a you know, medium elite. Usually he's like a medium elite. Uh, Kevin Barnett, uh, yep, we're going to keep our eye on him. He seems to be a dog. Uh, top six forward, Riley Hyde. I, I do need to go scouting here. Charlie Strammel. Let's start scouting here, boys. I am so stoked for MLB The Show 23. Oh, I am so fucking stoked. That game's going to be so fucking fire. They actually fixed the, the franchise. Holy load. Load. That's going to be great. Uh, I'm gonna, oof, I can't wait for that. I'm going to grind the shit out of that. I don't really play video games as much as I used to. but oh, That one... I'll get back going. I'll be buzzing over that one. Mm -hmm. Alright, I hate fucking scouting in this game. I really hate scouting because I just start button smashing and then go to pick the player I want. And then you gotta go all through it because they all do it for you. It's annoying. I, I hate it. I really hate scouting. I really do. No, fuck scouting. I'll, I'll scout on my own. I'll do my own scouting. Fuck them. Fuck them. I just want to go to the trade deadline. Let's go to the trade deadline. Oh, we got the Jets coming up. Oh, uh, we beat the Red Wings. Uh, can we beat the Pens? Oh, we do. Oh, boy. We're winning a little too much. We're running a little too much. You know what this means. Trade. Make a trade at the deadline. Make a trade. 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 Uh, seller. We are definitely selling. We are selling. All right. Um, oh, oh, Drew Dowdy's on the trade block. Okay. Uh, let's see what we all got here. There's not much. Not much left of everything because uh, in real life, Everybody got traded. Literally everybody. Gabe Velarde. Why are they... Listen. Why... We're rebuilding. But, like, this would be a great piece for us to build towards long term. Adding a piece like Gabe Velarde. Depending on the asking price. We're going to take a look at that. That would make some sense. Theoretically. That... I don't, even, I don't know if I said that right. But, uh, we're just going to rock with it. That would make sense. I would say. How, all right, his trade value is high, but not that high. Uh, we can maybe trade him. Who can we trade in return? Provorov. Provorov would be perfect. Are they good? They are decent. I don't, why have they been trying to trade Velarde? Trade Provorov. It's kind of a one-for-one. One. Would be over the league maximum salary cap next year. Well, I'll retain some salary. I'll help him out. Oh, they might he might need more than this. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to help him. <laughs> no, nope, not gonna be able to help him. Unless we take nothing in return, I guess. Or well not nothing. Trade a second and I guess the third from Vegas. That would be worth it. And then we'd have to get rid of a player in return. Probably like a prospect. Let's say uh Denoye, however you say his name. I think this is actually a fair deal for us. Yeah, we should be rebuilding, but this is a nice piece we can build towards for the long term. Listen. Not everything you got to tear down. Reject it. All right, maybe take off the fifth. Maybe that get the job. Okay, well, we got the deal done. I don't know why they wanted to trade Gabe Velarde, but they did. So, uh, yeah, we'll just get another second and a third right back. Perfect. That, that finessed him. Was he playing in the AHL? That's why he was putting up that sat line. Was he playing in the A? Was he playing in the AHL? That's why I uh, maybe got debated. Oh no! Who that? What? What? What are they doing? <laughs> EA. Um, I am lost. For I am a little lost. All right, let's see what we can get out of Kevin Hayes. Anything? Can we get anything out of Kevin? Oh, we can. Okay, we can get a second and a fourth of Michael Delzato. Chat. I'm not trading him there. Uh, we could trade him to Arizona. Get a second and a third. Uh, Grimaldi. We could trade him to Chicago. Columbus, Detroit wants him, a second, a fourth, and Robert Haig, bring him back, ooh, the, the Habs, okay, uh, I'm not crazy for that, um, Nudivara, San Jose, I mean, I personally kind of want to trade him here, to Arizona, or trade him to Detroit, but you get a second and a third out of Arizona, they got the cap space to make it work, I think this is a no-brainer right here, we don't need to retain salary, Dump the contract. 
boom. We get the, we basically, uh, the pick we just traded for Gabe Velarde, we just get it right back from Arizona. And that should probably be a higher pick than the Vegas one or where, or Jersey it was. So that actually, see, W Asset Management, uh, Chuck, take notes. Oh, wait, you got fired. You don't need to take notes no more because you ain't getting hired by anybody no more. No, 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 no. All right, K-Max, and what can I get out of him? Uh, San Jose, they kind of want him. Uh, I'll take a third and a fourth for K-Maxson. Yes, sir. I'll take that deal. Uh, let's see what else we got here that we can maybe trade. Provorov? Let's see about Provorov. What, what can we get? A second and a fourth and a Shatner Kirk. I don't want to trade him to Chicago. Two seconds and Pissick. Or we just could hang on to him and I think we could trade him at the offseason. Possibility. Uh, any other, you know, low-ended, I mean, Lawton, but maybe, maybe you trade him. What about Delorier? Does Delorier have, like, any value to him at all? It does a little bit. A third and a seventh, a fourth, a fourth, a fourth, a fifth. Ooh, so we have a little bit of a market for him. A fourth and a seventh, a fourth and a sixth from Minnesota. A third and a seventh. A third round pick from Vegas. I <laughs> make another trade with Vegas. Arizona wants him for whatever reason. Bruins, I, I might trade him to the Bruins because we get a third. Blowing up, oh yeah, blowing up for Bedard, for sure. Blowing up for Bedard, but we're also doing it like a quick rebuild because um we just got Gabe Velarde, who should actually help us long term. and We have cash space for him now. So oh yeah, we're blowing it up for Bedard. And we also started winning a little bit too much here lately, so uh, I'm putting an end to that. Ooh, trade him to Tampa Bay. Get rid of him. Yeah, I hate the Bruins, so I'd rather help the Lightning than the Bruins. So, Delorier to the Bruins. That uh, lightning. Fuck. I almost confused myself. Um. All right. We made a lot of trades so far. Uh, we've done damn well. I would say so. This team's going to be nice in the future. Velarde. There's a lot of nice young pieces now. Brizen, Bobby Brink, Velarde, Frost, Faraby, Konechny. Uh, you just need some more defensive prospects. Obviously, Connor Bedard. You would also love to see him thrown in there. What about Noah Kate? Uh, he's 24. I actually don't want to get rid of him. Justin Braun. This is a player I would love to get rid of. Uh, I don't really care for what. Just something. I can get a third-round pick out. Now, that is a Ken Holland trade. A third-round pick for Justin Braun. That is a Ken Holland trade. We all know it. We all know that's a Ken Holland trade. That we all know. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely taking it. And Calgary is also giving us up. Okay, so which... I mean, I guess we're getting more out of this. We'll take Calgary's. And plus, Calgary has more potential to be shittier next year. So, yeah, we'll take that deal. And, yeah, so we basically just sold off basically half of the team right now. Now, look at the assets we got. Two firsts, two seconds, two thirds. Would have been more if we never made the Velarde trade, but I think that was a smart decision by me. A fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, two sevenths. And we have two seconds next year. We have a lot of thirds next year. I mean, one, two, three, four. Uh, we have two fourths. Yeah, we're, we're stacking up on picks. We are easily stacking up on picks. I think we're going to hold off for now. Unless there's another player I would like to kind of trade for. That could be like a nice little long-term piece. You never know what might pop up here and there. I don't know why. I'm still trying to fathom why they traded wanted to trade Velarde. I don't know if I want to trade Lawton. I mean, you could. That could be great value, though. Maybe do that in the offseason at the draft if there's someone I really want to go for. But yeah, we're good. We're good. I'm happy with what we've done here. We gathered, gathered a lot of assets. We've done very nice for ourselves. Felipe Myers, bring him back. We could. We could. I'm actually going to bring him back. I'm going to claim his ass. I'm going to claim him. Now, boom. Look at that. He's back with the Flyers where he started his career with. Look at that. Look at that. He's back. Just like... It's like nothing. All right. Are we in a playoff spot? We're, we can almost win our division. That's kind of sad. That is kind of sad. Uh, we, we still have... I mean, we're not that far out. We're three points out off of the pens. We really aren't that far out, but that's kind of sad. And we're, we're not good. We are really not that good. So um, that that is interesting. We are 5-5 five and five in our last 10. We've also won a good amount lately. So now let's look at this elite lineup now. I would like to see... What's this going to look like? Uh, I would say Couturier first line. Uh, I would probably put Velarde down the middle. I mean, you could put him at the wing. 
Move them to the left. Put Lawton down the or Frost down the middle, and then you can. Oh my God, this team sucks now. Whew. We did a great job, boys. I think we. I think I did a great job. What are we thinking now? This team blows. This team sucks. I think we did great. Whew, that now see that's how you tank. That's how you properly tank. But ain't no one giving up that much for Tony D'Angelo to be fair. Half the players we did trades for. I don't think many, very many teams are giving up that much assets for. Let's be real. That's just EA Sports, and we just took advantage of the system. That's all that is. All it is. Oh, but man, Ooh boy, we got ourselves a roster. I would like to see Velarde maybe up here first line, maybe or something. Uh, I mean they're plus three. Why try and change something? So you can do Velarde, Frost, and I would I would put Owen Tippett up here, but you know the boys hurt. Let's go Wade Allison, and then yeah. Lawton. I wonder if there's an AHL I would like to bring up. Bobby Brink? Could bring up Bobby Brink, put him like second or third line right now. That could be an interesting thing. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring up Bobby Brink, plug him in, third line, let the kids play, let them develop a little bit. I think that'd be kind of smart. Also, I want to bring up Felipe Myers. Absolutely. Have Brandon Brisson come up eventually. Not yet. Not yet, though. I don't know if he's ready yet. Yeah, I don't think so. He's a 76. Uh, take out Cooper Morality. Lol, well, I'm making pizza, so I've got the stream on my laptop upstairs and my phone. Atta boy, help us with the views. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's actually funny. Uh, let's, ooh, that don't work. Yeah. What about second list? Pumping up my numbers. Damn right you are. Damn right. Actually, I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, plus two. Ooh, and he could be a dog on this line if you pair him up with Velarde and Frost. Ooh, okay, we might have something here. We might have something at Sanheim, Proveroff, York, Ristolainen, Sealer, and Atard. What kind of pizza? Is it just a plain, regular cheese pizza? Or are you doing like a little extra meat lovers, pepperoni? What are we doing? Is Or is it just a regular cheese? You can't go wrong with regular cheese, though. You can't never go wrong. Man, we fucking suck. I'm proud of myself here. Bernier, he stinks. God damn, he's hardly played any games. W. W. All right, let's start simming here. I, want, I actually want to see how bad we can get. I want to see how bad we can get. Let's see. Uh, Sim to this. Auto. I got that. Ooh, deluxe. Damn. <laughs> you ain't fucking around. Got the deluxe. Ooh, the fuck. Oh, that, he was a part one. The, where, where did we get him from? Somewhere. We got him from somewhere. I don't even know where. Uh, I would probably bring... How old is he? 32? Offense? Eh, put him in the ahl -er. He's a bona fide ahl -er. Get down there. Plus, you might be a little helpful to make us win games, so I don't know about that. We probably should have claimed Hayden Flurry right there. Probably. Oh, and Tippett's back. Let's go. That's a W. Um, Let's just drop him down. Boom. Bang. Now we should be having a real nice. How's Bobby Brink only has one point? We could put his ass third line. That's for show. Sure. Show for show. Sure. Alright, we'll do Couturier, put that line back together. And then you got Frost, Velarde, Tippett. Uh your mic committed suicide. Okay, good. Now see this is what we needed. Let's see, this is what we needed. Okay, hold on now. Hold on. Is it better now? I think I fixed it. I figured the problem. I was trying to figure this out earlier, and I think I fixed it. That would explain a lot. I think I fixed it. I think we're good. Oh, man, look at these lines. Oh, boy. Boy. Ah, uh, scratched. Yeah, these are bums that are scratched. I really can care less. Uh, we can... Yeah, we're good here. Defensively. Ooh. Look at this. Defensively, we're better. Felipe Myers, he comes back home to Philadelphia. Look at this. Look at this. Hey. Look at us. Look at us. Oh my fucking god, jump scare. Is it loud? I guess it's loud. <laughs> I guess it's fucking loud. It should be probably a little louder now, yeah. Oh boy, we might be in a playoff spot. 
Guys, we might be in a playoff spot. Uh, I'm not um I'm not happy with this if we are. I'm trying to tank for Bedard, but the team doesn't want to tank. Holy shit, we're right there. We are one point away, but we have a lot more games in hand. I mean, we played a lot more games. All right, hypothetically, how far are we from the... I mean, we're far, but it's not impossible. If we just lose a little more, we're still in this. I don't know why we're doing good for a team that's supposed to be bad. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I love Connor Bedard. That clearly not going to happen. I doubt we're even getting a top seven pick. With the way we've been playing, um, I'm not happy with this. I mean, we got one point out of that Blackhawks game, so good, good. How many? Div eight. It's four teams, four teams per, and you play them six times a season. In real life, all right. Think about this in real life. Let's look at these divisions and let's just think currently in real life how goaded this would be. In my in my opinion, how goaded this would be. People have been complaining. Oh, the rivalries aren't the same. We the, the people have been complaining, especially the older fans. The rivalries aren't the same. They don't play their rivals enough. Well, I think one problem with that is because divisions are consisted of eight teams. There's a little bit too many per division, in my opinion. So if you want more rivalries, one you make them play each other more, and one way you do that is shrinking down the divisions and do them like this. Uh, here's the Metro. You got the Rangers, the Islanders, the Devils. And the Flyers. So just imagine real life right now. Rangers, Devils, six times a year. Six times a year between these two teams right now. How goaded would that be? That would be insane. That would be great watching the Rangers and the Devils six times this season in the regular season. And then they're going to play again in the playoffs. That would be fantastic in my opinion. I was to go in the Northeast. Bruins and the Leafs. That would be awesome. Six times a year. Sense. Now they're starting to play good. You got the, uh, the Battle of Ontario six times a year. The Canadians and Leafs. Canadians and Bruins. That's six times a year. That is beautiful. This division I'm not crazy about. But you kind of had to throw it together geographically to make some sense. But I still think there is a lot of potential uh, rivalry here. Because Buffalo is not that far from Pittsburgh. So this could be a good rivalry. Obviously, Detroit and Columbus could be a good rivalry. But in real life, they're both pretty bad. But once they're both good, this could be a damn good rivalry. Uh, the Pens and the Sabres, obviously, could be really, really good. The Southeast Division, obviously, you got the Hurricanes and Lightning six times a year. That'd be really cool. Uh, Panthers, Lightning six times a year. Uh, well, it would have been really good last year. This year, not so much. And the Capitals playing the Hurricanes six times a year. Central, well, no one wants to really play Chicago. I mean, no one really wants to watch Chicago play, like, Winnipeg six times a year because Chicago sucks. And, but you get St. Well, if Chicago and St. Louis is good, you get that six times a year. Blues Wild six times. Uh, Kraken and Canucks six times a year. Battle of, Aunt, Battle of Alberta six times a year. That would be beautiful. Six times a year, Battle of Alberta. That would be phenomenal. And I would also say you're playing everyone else in your conference four times. Four. So you'd still get the Battle of PA four times a year. Same amount you get now, and they're not in the same division. Meaning you'd play everyone in the West once. Fair enough. Fair enough. You still play everyone in the West once. I think it works pretty well. Just, yeah, it is a pretty underrated rivalry. And it's going to be a great playoff series this year if they play. If they play each other in the first round, that's going to be a hell of a series. That'll be a hell of a series. Because first off, Winnipeg and Minnesota is not that far apart. Oh my god, can we stop winning? Can we stop winning, please? Can we please stop winning? Please, 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 please. I don't want to fuck myself here, but I'm uh, just going to do this real quick. No one, uh, no one, no one look, no one look, no one look, no one, no, 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 no. no. Making sure I don't make the same, ooh, I almost made the same mistake. Mm, almost made the same mistake. <laughs> I almost jumped right into the uh, 2030, the Flyers franchise. All right, let's just send from here. Whatever happens, happens. If we make playoffs, we make playoffs. If we don't make playoffs, good. I want Bedard. That's what I want. I'm just... I was having a uh, imagination. I was kind of dozing off today. And I was picturing Connor Bedard playing for the Flyers. 
I got pretty excited. That's all I'm going to... Okay, not not in the way you're probably thinking, but I got happy thinking about it. We're going to make playoffs, aren't we? We're going to fucking make playoffs. We, we're 38 and 30. We're going to make playoffs. I, I'm doing everything my damnedest to make us suck. Well, it didn't help that I traded for Gabe Velarde. Well, I'm, we're tied, actually, for the last spot. And also... Well, no, we can still pass Pittsburgh. Well, okay. Yeah, I, I knew I knew someone was going to say something. I knew somebody was going to say something when I said that. I knew somebody was going to say something. We lose to Columbus, okay. We only have a couple games left, and this is getting a little... I'm not happy that we're in the position we are, potentially making playoffs. I'm not happy about that. That's three points with the win there against the Rangers. What about this game against the Blue Jackets? That's enough. All right, we're making playoffs. I am confident we are making playoffs. How are the Penguins doing? No, they're going to get in anyway because it's division. Ooh, okay, that's true. All right, let's sim this Carolina game, see what happens. Rasmus or Stelane is hurt. We do lose to the Hurricanes. They're also the better team. Is that really surprising? No. Is the division wrapped up? Uh, no, because we could still, yeah, we can take the division. We can win the division, but I think the Islanders basically kind of have this kind of sealed off. In the East, we are in the last playoff spot. Wait. No, we aren't. We aren't because Pittsburgh. So here's the thing with the 1 through 8 in this. All division winners get in. So, and obviously Pittsburgh stinks. So, Pittsburgh would get in over us. Because we would technically be the 9 seed. Because they're a division leader. And they won their division. Even though they're worse than us. Which, you know, it's kind of how it should be. You know. Kind of not bitching about it. But, uh, yeah. We're, we're definitely uh, close to making playoffs. We do beat the Panthers. I don't think we are going to make playoffs because, I mean, no, we can. If we win this game here against the Rangers, we can make the playoffs. Well, we win this game, we jump the Rangers and make the playoffs. I'm not going to, I don't want to say I'm going to bitch because I want Bedard, but, like, that's a pretty good first year. Yet again, that's Chuck Fletcher's inheritance over. Okay, well, we we're, we won. Holy fuck, we're going to the playoffs. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. <laughs> I'll be damned. Uh, playoffs in year one. I'm just that goaded, ain't I? No, it's just the EA Sim blows. It's just it blows. Golly, the EA Sim. Should we go out? We're going to... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We got the Leafs first round. <laughs> this might be a playoff series win. EA is any realistic. Here's the time to prove yourself. Do the Leafs get out of the first round? Uh, that is. Oof. Let's look at these lines real quick. I want to see the player stats. Why were we this good? Uh, Velarde. How good was Velarde since he got here? That will do it. 14 points in 18 games. That will do it for sure. Hell of a hell of a pickup by me. Give me a pound on the back. That's what. Yeah. Can you check the... I will check the Leafs lineup. 56 points for Frost. Damn. What about Tippett? I mean, he didn't play the entire year, but he had 41... A lot of offensive production from this team. Okay. Okay. Let's go check out that Toronto Maple Leafs team. Let's see what they're cooking with. Toronto. Willie Nylander. Matthews. Marner. O'Reilly. Tavares. Robertson. Kerfoot. Achari. Lafferty. <laughs> you better beat the Leafs. Well, you see who's playing fourth line right, fourth line right wing. It's possible. Defensive. Oh boy, that defensive pairing is actually kind of nasty. Morgan Riley, T.J. Brody, Luke Shen, Jake Muzzin. Jake McCabe, Timothy Lilligren. They have seven defensemen in the lineup. <laughs> I guess they want to go fully defensive hockey in the playoffs. Who's injured? Good point. We're going to have to look. Somebody's clearly injured if uh, Mark Giordano is... Oh, boy. If Giordano's playing uh, defense... Uh, yeah, he's a defenseman playing where... Bunning. Bunning is hurt. Oh, hey, but he's coming back probably mid-series. So, Okay. Yeah, he should be coming back mid-series, so this is going to be interesting. We're going to sim here. We're going to sim game one. I'm curious to see how this goes. Game one, can we? I'm very curious. Oh, they're already up 2 nothing. Up 3 nothing. Okay. 
Okay, they might be a little bit uh too overpowered for us. Yet again, we shouldn't be in this position in the first place. Let's be real here. Oh, I'm at one times. So I'm like, why is it going so slow? Because I move it to eight times or whatever. Gabe Velarde scores with Matt Murray. Matt Murray's in that. I should also check their goaltending overall. So I want to see what Matt Murray... Uh oh Gabe Velarde's turning it the fuck on. That's what he's doing. Gabe Velarde, come on now. If we win the cup year one. Should I make this a three-year rebuild? Do I say fuck it to the rebuild? Make this a three-year rebuild? I just realized Gabe Velarde just won it. got a hat trick. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Gabe Velarde with the hat trick. <laughs> We're gonna. I was gonna do a long term rebuild. I don't know. We can do a three year rebuild now. I don't know. I don't know. If Ferrari. Oh my god. Oh, that is Toronto Maple Leafs if I've ever seen it. That is the Toronto Maple Leafs. If. <laughs> that is definitely the Maple Leafs. That is definitely. The EA might have a little bit of realism in it. Oh. This makes sense. This perfectly makes sense. Velarde, three goals in the third period to tie it, and then Joel Farabee on the power play scores to seal the deal. <laughs> that is... E <laughs> Damn. That is... Wow. Okay. Look at us go. Look at us go. All right. Only if this was real life. I'd be happy if this was real life. For... Oh, my. What is this? Seven, six, six unanswered goals. On the Toronto Maple Leafs in the past two games. <laughs> they can't catch a break. Uh-oh. Austin Matthews scored 2-1. 2-1. Uh-oh. Two-goal lead. Worst lead in hockey. That's what that is. Uh oh All right. Let's get a sim. We're going to sim. Oh, Morgan Frost, the beautiful son of a bitch. He gets his second of the game. Second power play goal, too. Make that 3-1. We are up to... We're out playing the Leafs. Boys. <laughs> we might beat the Leafs. We might beat them. We're up 4-1. And then the Kateri is just going to seal the deal, make it a 5-1-W. We're up 2-0 going into the Wells Fargo Center. Frost, five points in two games. I think EA is just kissing our ass. Or I'm, or would it be, am I kissing EA's ass? No, definitely not because I didn't want to make playoffs. <clears throat> you guys saw me back out a couple of times, so I didn't want to make playoffs, and I just accepted reality. It is, it's what you can do. Oh, damn, what a first period. All right, let's take a look at this. Nicholas Robertson scores early, then Provorov a minute later, then Callie Yarncroke, Morgan Frost, Melchari. We're out shooting them. I th every game we've seen so far, we're out shooting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah good, good, good point, good point. All right, we're going to do that after this game. I actually did not even look at all the matchups. I'm Who who would Pittsburgh even play? They would play the five seed because they're the four seed, so they would play the five all right, let's just sim here. Oh, Noel Chari scores the second of the game. Make that 4-2 Toronto. Oh, boo. Fuck you, Maple Leafs. Actually, I don't even hate the Leafs. I actually hope the Leafs go to the finals this year. I'm actually kind of rooting for them. I am rooting for the Leafs. I like the Leafs a lot. I like Matthew specifically. Oh, they're playing the Hurricanes. All right, so then, oh, we got the Battle of Florida, Islanders, and Bruins. Okay, okay. So now, this is also a reminder, 1 through 8. So you got the East. Custom Conference 2 is supposed to be Western Conference. My dumbass forgot to switch the name. So there's that. So you got Colorado up 3-0 in St. Louis. They got the Battle of Alberta. Of course you do. Of course you do. Battle of Alberta. You got Minnesota and Dallas. Unironically, the Minnesota Wild taking on the Minnesota North Stars. Look at that. And the San Jose Sharks as the 4 seed taking on the number 5 seed Vancouver Canucks. That's EA at its finest. That is EA at its finest. Both of those teams shouldn't be fourth to fifth worst teams in the league. That's what they should be. They should be nowhere sniffing the playoffs. We shouldn't even be sniffing the playoffs, but here we are. What can you do? Nothing much. All right, let's see. Oh, we're already up. Felipe Myers. Look at that. Seems like something Bettman would do. Eh. Mm-hmm. Oh, Gary. We're getting outshot this game for once. We're the ones getting outshot. That's... Okay. I really don't care if we win or lose this series. I guess since it's the Maple Leafs. Oh, we choked a major. Okay. All right, after two, we're up. Oh, okay. All of our goals came from defensemen here. So that's a, that's interesting that all of our goals are coming from our defensemen. 
Oh, 5 on 4. Ooh, no, no, no. But we're holding him down. Carter Hart, playoff performer. What are you going to do this year if you win the cup? Ooh, that's a good point. If we win the cup, I'll run outside. I was going to say butt naked, but there is police around. I'm not going to do that. All right, if we win the cup this season, there, it is snowing. We're supposed to get a good amount of snow. I'll be shirtless and I'll jump into the snow. Tomorrow morning, of course, when there's more snow on the ground. There's not enough for me to do that right now. Tomorrow. It, tomorrow in the morning, I'll go out there and jump into the snow shirtless. Is that feasible? Or I do another physical pain something else. I think that's something. We, we could figure out something if we win the cup here. Year one. 31 saves for the GOAT Carter Hart. I'm also thinking about getting a face cam. I just don't have one right now. Uh, I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. I think it would help. Especially when I do the Flyers reaction videos. It would definitely help a little bit. Because half of the time, if you, if you, if you noticed... <laughs> if you noticed uh, in the today's Flyers video, it's the same gameplay from one of the other Flyers videos I did last week. <laughs> it's the same gameplay I used. Hey, don't hate the player, hate the game. That's all I can say. <laughs> Alright, let's win. Let's beat the Leafs in five. That Leafs, the Leafs fan, you might be in shambles after this game. You might be in shambles. I, don't, I would be in shambles if we got beat by this piss poor poverty organization. Oh, uh, what's his name? Oh, I'm going to go. Let me go look after this game. Oh, uh, we're getting our ass whooped. We're getting our ass whooped. Well, we were, we were down three in game one. And it ain't going to stop us now. I ain't gonna stop. They're out shooting us. Yeah, no. Toronto is just like, oh, okay. We're accepting defeat. Yep, six one. I, I I forget who it was. He he has some pretty good rosters usually. They're pretty highly downloadable. Uh, let me go look. Three one choke job incoming. Don't wish that evil on me. Don't don't put that evil on me. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Active roster. Let's see. I, is it Vassy? No. Oh, it's going to be, yeah, it is Vazzy. Vazzy roster update 8. Vazzy roster update 8. That's who it was. It also says custom because I fixed some of the overalls for the Flyers. Because they're way too damn high. Like, Atari is an 88. I made his ass an 84. I should have moved, I should have messed with Sanheim. I should have, would have, could have. Alright, and then we're going to look at the playoff tree after this game 6. Once we beat the Maple Leafs 7-2. to two, Nick Sealer scores within the first 30 seconds. And then Ron O'Reilly scores literally within the next 30 seconds. Okay. Alright, well, that's just great. Uh, let's just end the first period. Bobby Brink is what we brought you up for, buddy. Is what we brought you up for. 2-1 after 1. Let's go. I'm hoping... That if the Flyers are in the Bedard sweepstakes come draft lotto time, I want to do a live reaction to the draft lottery. Because if they were to somehow get Bedard, they might have. They I, I should I should definitely look at the who got the President's Trophy. Because there is the President's Trophy curse and all that. But I... Yeah, I'm thinking maybe doing a live um, reaction for the draft lottery if the Flyers are like within the top five for the Connor Bedard sweepstakes. I probably will. So you can either see me have a meltdown or uh, go absolutely fucking berserk if they were to get Bedard. If they were to get Connor Bedard, holy shit. I would probably buy his jersey the minute after we won the lotto. I probably would. That would be something I would do. 5 on 3. Fucking score. Okay, but we are up to... Oh, oh, oh. Former Flyer legend Luke Shen scores. Oh, Bobby Briggs is going to seal the deal. Seal the deal. Eh, okay, EA might have some realism in it. Still. Oh, talking a little too soon. Slower down a little bit. Slower down Nicholas Robertson. Scores. All right. Three and a half minutes remaining. Two. All right, we're hanging in there. Come on. Carter Hart, hang in there. Holy fuck. <laughs> we fucking beat the Leafs. Ain't that something. We beat the Maple Leafs in six. Four, two. We win game six, five to four. 
Oh boy. All right, let's take a look at the president's. I I think you are correct. The Leafs might have won the president's trophy. Uh, entire league. No, Colorado did. They were two points off. They were two points off, and Colorado swept uh, St. Louis. Oh man, Tampa, Calgary, Vancouver, 145 and 37. If Toronto, oh, I I would cry. I would def. I think crying would be an understatement. Just imagine if this Philadelphia team. Just, or just think about like this: you guys don't play Toronto or Tampa Bay first round this year. Let's say you guys play Pittsburgh first round. You guys play Pittsburgh first round. Pittsburgh's old as fuck. Let's be real; they're old, they're trash. Um, they're ba- they're hanging on to their glory days. Let's be real; they're hanging on to their glory days. And you play Pittsburgh first round, and you get absolutely shit on. How how would you feel? How would you feel if that were to happen? For in order for that to happen, you guys would have to catch the Bruins, which isn't going to happen. But just hypothetically, if that were to happen, or Ottawa, Ottawa. How would you feel if Ottawa beat you guys? Because that is like one of your guys' arches rivals, the uh, Battle of Ottawa, Ontario, right there. How I would be, I would be depressed as fuck. I I know I would be. I was sad as fuck when the Penguins beat us in 2018. I was, I didn't take that one very well. I didn't take that very well. Because first off, it was the Penguins. And then in that game six, Gutierrez got tripped. They didn't call it, And then they immediately scored Jake Gensel. So I wasn't happy about that. So we're taking on Tampa Bay. And, okay, we're taking, we got the Bolts. The Lightning. All right, let's see the playoff tree here. Let's see what we got rocking here. We got the 2 seed Tampa Bay Lightning taking on the 8 seed Flyers. The 5 seed Carolina Hurricanes are taking on the 6 seed Boston Bruins. We got Colorado taking on the 7 seed. Edmonton Oilers, who won the Battle of Alberta. Minnesota wins the Minnesota rivalry right there against Dallas. And San Jose, blockbuster series. San Jose, Vancouver, absolute blockbuster series. Game 7. And now we got ourselves the Bolts. Let's ch- let's take a look at this Tampa Bay Lightning team. I actually, didn't we trade Nick DeLaurier to Tampa Bay? Oh, oh boys. I don't know how we're beating this team. Off. Maroon, Stammer, Janot, Kalorn, Sorelli, Paul, Hagel, Shapitkov, Corey Perry. And defensively, they're what? Stacked too. Eh. Eh. Hedman, Cernak, Nuvari, Sergachev, Ian Cole. Wait a minute. He's allowed to still play in the league? Hmm. Interesting. Goaltender Vazzy. All right. Brian Nelly, also the backup goaltender. So for those that are just tuning in, this is year one. We somehow made the playoffs with a reminder. This fucking roster. I blew it up. I blew up the team and still made playoffs. I'm just him. That's just all it is. Velarde, four points in these playoff games so far. He actually only has one point since game one. Uh, how, how are we going to manage... Managed to, you know, line up against this t- Tampa Bay team? I don't know. Bobby Brink's having himself a hell of a playoffs. Uh, defensively, we've also been very good. Provorov. Damn. Provorov's got seven points. Ron- Ronnie, it's hard. We got to take his ass out. Actually, I think. Yeah, Risto's back. So we can put Risto into the lineup now. Has Did Risto even have a good year? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some wild shit doing these franchise mode sims. Like, the one year, I think it was actually when I was filming for that Toronto Maple Leafs video I did, like, a couple months ago. I think the Coyotes won the cup in year two. I I don't know. I, I remember seeing San Jose going on deep cup runs a couple of times. It just doesn't make any sense. I don't really get it. Eh, I don't know. I, I don't understand it. Uh oh, here we go. They're already. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. This is not a good start, boys. This is not a good start. Not a good start. Not a good start. Not a good start. Okay, we already lose game one. Once I saw those first three goals, yeah, we were cooked. I knew we were cooked. This might not. We might get swept here. We just don't have the talent to keep up with Tampa Bay. Uh oh. We might. Oh, oh my god. They scored within the first 30 seconds again. What a jeez! We don't even have a shot on that yet. Now we, oh boy, yeah, this is not gonna end well. 
This isn't going to end well. Uh-oh, we might have to make some line changes here. We might have to make some line changes. Because offensively, we are getting cooked. Uh, we're going to have to do something. Uh, power play? We might have to mess with the power play because they're not scoring either. It's a major. Come on. Score. I mean, we're here at this point. Might as well start winning games. I didn't want to be here, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. All right, we're going to mess with this team. We're messing with it. Well, we're, I mean, we're in the playoffs. Might as well. Uh, Brandon Lemieux is probably going to get dropped down. Uh, we'd probably bring up Noah Cates. Put Adam Brooks down the middle. I'm probably going to move Velarde up. Yeah, I'm going to move Velarde up. Uh, Couturier, Konechny. Uh, Tippett. I would maybe take Frost. No, Frost has been one of our best players, so why would I do that? That wouldn't make any sense. Good point. So much for... Yes, I, I tried. I tried. You, you should have saw the trades I did if you, were, if you weren't here before. You should have saw me blow... I made like five trades to blow up the team. I made five, and we got better. It just... This is EA. I literally made... I traded D'Angelo, who had... Also, by the way, I want to show you his stat line for when he was here. Where did we trade him? Vegas? Top six, Bobby Brink. We might move Bobby into the top six. Come the draft, will you still try and trade for the first... I won't trade for the first overall pick, but I might try and trade up for, like, Mitch Goff or something I might do. Uh, Vegas. Because I'm kind of settling in on a three-year rebuild now, because we're already at this point. Uh, where is Tony D'Angelo right there? With us, when he was playing for us, he had 51 points in 48 games. He cooled off a bit when he got to a good team where he wasn't, you know, as much of offensive, you know, production. Nah, I know, man. This it, it's not just this year. It's every fucking year. It's been like this since... As long as I can remember. It's it's not good. It's not good. All right, let's fix up these lines. I mean, might as well throw Bobby Brink top six. I would say probably bring down Tippett. Why not? Ooh, that makes it up to a plus three. Okay, so you got Law and Cates, Tippett. I like that. I like that. Then defensively, I'd probably put Risto down, put Felipe Myers up, uh, take Sealer out, and put in Ronnie Atard. And you got two right-handed defensemen kind of playing on the same line. That could be a problem. As you put Nick Sealer back, that's an elite the third pairing right there, though, ain't it? All right, or you put Bobby Brink first line. You could do that. You could put Bobby first line because you got Konechny and uh, Couturier and maybe try and spice it up that way. And then you can do Velarde, Farabee, and Frost. I kind of like the looks of this. Why don't we give it a shot? Bobby Brink first line. Why not? But, I mean, what else we got to lose? Nothing, really. I mean, we really shouldn't be in this spot in the first place. I'm just glad we beat the Leafs first round. At least they didn't score within the first 30 seconds this game, like they did the past two games. So at least improvement. They made it a little bit. Oh boy, they're still scoring at well on us. No, oh, well we scored once, two one, first line. That means uh maybe I mean we're actually out shooting them, barely, but we we're out shooting them. But uh, it would be nice if we uh you know would put one in the back of the net, send it to OT, and go from there. That would be kind of sweet. Just saying. Just saying. Power play, come on. And we lose. Alright, yeah, we're getting swept. Yeah, we're getting swept. <clears throat> okay, well, our problems, I actually do notice this. In real life, when the Flyers were semi-decent, Hart would always start slow in the games. And from what I've seen in the sim, Hart is starting really slow. So that means EA is being semi-realistic. But if they were also realistic, we wouldn't be in the playoffs. Remember that. And the Oilers are beating the Avalanche in a series. I mean, that could happen this year. I mean, the West is an absolute shit show. So that is very much a possibility. So that's not too far-fetched. I mean, they... Oh, fucking Ian Cole scored. The child molester. Jeez, okay, well, that's just great. one nothing Lightning. It couldn't have been anybody else besides him. Can we at least, like, try and take out his kneecaps at least? Scott Lawton, thank you, Lauder. Hey, Remember the last time the Flyers went on an improbable run in the playoffs, 2010? I was just, I'm was i just referring to the 2010 reverse sweep on the Bruins. It's time, baby. We were down 3-0 to the Bruins. Guess what happened? We uh, we reverse swept that shit. We were down 3-0 in Game 7, too. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 
A million coincidences, nothing more than a million coincidences. Damn right. Here we go. Look at this. All fed starting this play. Here we go. That's one down, three more to go. This is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. Tampa down one. We're coming back, boys. That was the off. We haven't seen offense basically this entire series. It's it stepped up for game four. No one a. We got our backs against the wall. It's time to go. Here we go. Now this is what I'm talking about. We're gonna win this game. I'm confident. I th uh, I shouldn't have said that. Now we're gonna lose. Okay, I'm not confident. Yeah, I, I mean I guess that would work. I, I, nah, I don't know. I, I, we'll see. Uh, nothing, nothing after one. We didn't allow a first period goal this game. I'll take it. Coots. Let's go. Put that up. One nothing. We're getting outshot big time. They have double our shots. That's not ideal. No, 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 no. Come on now. Come on, let's just hang on. Carter Hart is a brick wall right now. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's why he's the guy. Oh, Cooch. Cooch the Gooch scored. It is a 1-1 going in. Oh, it's 2-1. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, boys. Get your head out of your ass. We're getting outshot by 15. That is ugly. That is ugly. That ain't good. Come on, somebody. Score. Please. Power play. Power play. Come on. Fuck you. Oh, that's game. Uh, yeah. I don't think we're scoring here. I think our, our reverse sweep uh, dream is over. Yep. All right. We get bounced by the lightning. Hey, I guess we made playoffs year one. Congrats to us. It would be the most EA Sports thing, but the, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. kind of wish it did. But it would have been funny. It would have been hilarious if I won the cup year one. Hit F to pay respects. Uh, well, that blows. We did all that for nothing. We get, I mean, I guess we're gathering experience for the core. I guess. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I guess that's one way to look at it. Uh, who's, what's it, Vegas? Did they even make playoffs? We still have a lottery pick, boys. We got Vegas' pick. They got worse with Tony D'Angelo. How bad was Vegas? Did they barely miss playoffs? Or did they just flat out suck? Oh, they barely miss playoffs. They barely miss playoffs. Yeah, they barely miss playoffs. But hey, that's still a lottery pick. That's a pick within the top 15, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We can get the one player here. It's a medium elite uh, out of the U.S. I actually uh, pinned him. We can get him. He's a defenseman as well, which is a W. Uh, Kevin Barnett, this guy right here. What is he? 6'4", defenseman, 2. Oh, my God. This guy's a unit. This is what I'm talking about. We're going to get him. We easily win that Vegas trade, let alone because they missed playoffs and we made playoffs. And then we got Brizen, who's going to be coming up here very shortly. We're going to get this kid, Kevin Barnett. Oh, my. My, oh, my. We're set. Oh, we finessed Vegas big time. All right. Prediction, who wins the cup? So, you got... Ooh, well, it's not over yet, but I think we're going to have a Carolina-Tampa Bay Eastern Conference Final. And it, it does appear that uh, we are getting a Minnesota and Colorado Western Conference Final. I actually would love to see that in real life. I really hope Minnesota goes far. Hurricanes choked a 3-1 lead. Okay, so it's Bruins Lightning, Avalanche Wild. I'm going to make a prediction. Colorado, Boston. Bruins, Avalanche, and in that cup final, I am taking the Boston Bruins. The Bruins. I think the Bruins win that. All right, let's see. I was completely wrong. It is the Tampa Bay Lightning taking on the Minnesota Wild. Okay. Well, uh, Tampa Bay wins the cup. No. <laughs> I got every pick wrong. The Minnesota Wild finally win a Stanley Cup. Look at them. Look at them go. They did it. They finally win a Stanley Cup for the first time in the franchise's existence. Okay. What team's getting Connor Bedard? What team's getting Connor Bedard? Chicago is the worst. Detroit was the second worst. I think Detroit Red Wings are winning the draft lottery. I think they're going to win the draft lottery. Uh, Jumbo Joe, Eric Stahl. Okay, whatever. Nothing that major. What's the draft order looking like? Did I skip it? I think I actually skipped the draft lottery. So I might get surprised here just going in. I'm th what we thinking? Who got first pick? I'll give you a reminder of the standings, and we'll look through the awards before we get into the draft. Who do we think won? I'm thinking the Red Wings. I think the Red Wings won it. Ooh, that could have been the Ducks, too. The Blue Jackets, the Yotes. Oh, knowing Gary Bettman, he's giving them the Arizona. 
No, and oh, he's we might be going to Arizona. They had a Columbus. I could see it. I could see it. Imagine him in Nashville. And uh, him on Anaheim would be just so dirty. It would be so dirty. Uh, Devils. Man, they stunk. So did the Capitals. Good. No good. All right. Uh, I'm thinking Red Wings. I think. I'm saying Red Wings. We'll see what happens. Let's look at the awards. Who won MVP and whatnot. Uh, President's Trophy goes to the Colorado Avalanche. Art Ross goes to Connor McDavid. That means the heart will also go to Connor McDavid. Drew Doughty, the old bastard, wins the Norris. Lady Bing goes to Braden Holtby. Sapkowski, Calder, Con Smythe, Matt Zuccarello, Vesna, Jacob Markstrom. Jennings goes to the Flames. Masterson, Adam Larson, the Sharks coach. Uh, McDavid is the Sel McDavid Selkie winner. Oh, that's interesting. Lindsay, McDavid, and Maurice Richard, of course it is. Alexander Ovechkin. Oh, Ovi. All right, let's get into the draft. Red Wings first overall. Holy fuck, the Predators actually got the first overall pick. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Columbus 2. Damn. And where are we picking? 13. Oh, we're, we're easily able to take that kid. 1,000%. Are we able to trump? Oh, we're easily going to be able to take that kid. Easily going to be able. Uh, I mean, Mishkoff's going number three. Brady, help me, won the lead evening. Brady in point. Uh, did I say Hopi? Did I? I might have said Hopi. I might listen. I might have said Hopi. I don't know. All right, well, Connor Bernard, you're a Nashville Predator. Hopefully, you don't turn into a Predator in your lifetime. Just please don't. We, did we just have a trade? I think we just had a trade. The, the Chicago Blackhawks traded up one pick to get with the Columbus Blue Jackets to take Matevi Mitchkoff. Oh, look at EA. They're evolving a little bit. They're evolving. Look at that. Look at them go. Good for EA. They're actually having the AIs trade with each other. I'm going to try and get Fantilli. I'm going to try. I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. We would love to get him on this team. All right, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to get rid of our 18th pick. We'll throw in Arizona's pick. I gen uh, I'm going to need a little more than that. And I'll throw in a fourth. Rejected. Okay. What about... We have so many thirds next year, I'm willing to give you... Ooh, we probably shouldn't give you San Jose's. We should probably give you, like, ours or... Ours? Yeah, because Arizona. I think both of those teams should be worse than us. Rejected. Okay, we're still cooking. We're still cooking. Let me cook, let me cook, let me cook. Uh, throw in our fifth. Maybe throw in a player if needed. Rejected. Okay, I'm going to throw in a player if they would like any of our players. Uh, Frost and Velarde's not going anywhere. We're going to have to get him on a contract extension. O'Brien, we could give him. I would give him Tyson Forrester. That's a possibility. Lemieux. Ooh. We could give him Forrester. I'm cool with that. He has a lot of actual value. And we can, you know, take a player back in return. Eric Goodbranson, Danny DeKaiser. Good with me. Take off a fourth. We'll give him Forrester. And let's go with another pick. Let's say... Fifth round pick. Call it a day. Rejected. Okay. You want more? Days of shitty. You're not a good GM. Why did you ruin my franchise? My favorite team. Actually, let's be real. If I saw Chuck Fletcher in real life, would I say anything? Probably not. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. I don't, I don't think I would say anything to piss him off. No. Actually... Mm. It depends on the setting. It depends on the setting. Reject it. Oh my god, just take the deal, please. It depends on the setting. It, it really does. It would depend on the setting where I'm at. If I'm at a Flyers game, oh, I'm going to heckle the shit out of them. But if I'm like at a grocery store and I see them, I'm probably just going to let them be. I'm going to be honest. I'd probably just let them be. I would probably as long be. If he was on the job, oh, I'd give him so much shit. But 
All right, just fuck you. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm tired of trying. I'm not giving up that much assets for Adam Fantilli. I'm, I'm willing to take my defenseman and call it a day. I'm willing to take my defenseman. Kevin Barnett, welcome to Philadelphia. Medium elite. 78 overall defenseman. W. That was a W move by me. There we go. No need to do anything special. Damn, that Omen kid was pretty good too. Uh, now what do we do here? Otto Stenberg could be good. Uh, we don't really, we didn't really scout any of these kids, so uh, we don't really know. But yet again, we might try and buy in here. We could get Eric Carlson, bring him into Philly. Don't give me any ideas. Don't give me any ideas. We're trying to win next year. I mean, we already made playoffs minus ball. We're going all in. Fuck the rebuild. <laughs> That's not how. That's not what we should be doing. But uh, made the playoffs. We're not too. I mean, we're not. We shouldn't be too far away. Got to look at the shitty teams. Who would they be willing to get rid of? Like if they have good players, who? What could I get in return? Like if, Chicago. Seth Jones. No, I don't want Seth Jones. Uh, Columbus. Johnny Gaudreau. No, I don't want his contract. I'm trying to draw. Oh, I was gonna say Kopitar. No. Montreal, Nashville. No. Joaquin Kemmel. Luke Hughes. No. No. Uh, I'm not making any trades with the Penguins. Hell no. Eric Carlson could be awesome though. That would be a hell of a move. But that contract, you gotta think. That that contract is terrible. That is not a good contract. You get Barbin off. I guess that wouldn't be a bad idea, but I'm not trading a first round pick for Alexander Barbanov. Are you kidding me? No. Uh. Yeah, I don't think we can. I mean, T American Hero, TJ Oshi. I don't think I'm giving up a first round pick for him, though. What about Clayton Keller? Hypothetically, what would I have to give up for Clayton Keller? Would this get the deal done for Clayton Keller? A first and two seconds? I might have to throw in a little more. How about this? Rejected. Okay, I'm going to throw in a third. Or maybe a prospect. Let me throw in a prospect instead, because you guys are re technically rebuilding. Yeah, I'd be in cap hell. Got to be a little smart about this. That's the wee bit smart. Uh, what about Forrester? Maybe take off one of these second round picks. And maybe make it like a third right here rejected okay um you guys want your third round pick back oh my god take the deal you guys want two sec you guys want two first round picks don't you you guys want two first round picks i know what you want don't mean i want to give you two first round picks but i might be willing Son of a bitch. Take the deal. This is a... F I'm getting finessed here, okay? I believe I'm getting finessed. Ah. Come on. Let's just work with me here. Just, just work with me. Just work with me. Alright, you... They really want another first round pick. They really want another first. I only have one next year, so. Now you guys want our second round pick next year. Is that going to be? Oh, my. Lordy, lordy. Oh. I just want Noah Cates, too? Oh, okay. That would put them over. All right. Uh. O'Brien. Jay O'Brien. What? What is his stuff? Ooh, he might be a good player. He might be a good player, but to get the deal done with Clayton Keller, this might be what need. They, they're still declining it. They are both. They're bozos. They are bozos. Okay, fuck them. Fuck them. I'm not. Listen, I'm already getting finessed as is. I'm getting finessed. Uh, what what can we get? Maybe. Should I give? I don't even think it'd be worth it giving up that much for Clayton Keller. I don't even know. Two seconds or two first? Fuck no! I don't think it's worth it for him. Overrated bum. Uh, we could. Troy Terry does have low value right now. 
but he did. I mean, he has a two-year extension for eight mil. That could be an interesting pickup if we were to get him. That would be something. Uh, I would love Eric Carlson though. If I can get him, maybe on a retained deal. I doubt that's gonna happen. We don't want to retain that much salary. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it with retained salary, of course. I know I have the cap space to do it. Doesn't mean I want to, you know, squeeze it in. But I would love. I just want your Eric Carlson. I know this makes zero fucking sense. I know they're not gonna take this, but this would take a little bit of the load off us. And I'm gonna get a nice little package at first. Second, hate to break it to you, Leafs fan. I don't. I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> I. Uh, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Especially with how yoked up the Bruins and the Rangers are now. I don't know. I don't know. Rooting for you, though. Rejected. Alright. We can maybe... Maybe get Eric Carlson. Maybe. No. Okay. What about adding in uh, Jay O'Brien? Would you guys be interested in this? Rejected. We're not comfortable retaining that much. Well, listen, I'm not comfortable taking on that contract. Do you want to stop paying them? Listen, I'm willing to do that much. Rejected. All right. Well, they're 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 just being greedy. Okay, they're just being greedy. I tried. I tried helping them. They don't want to be helped. Okay, I see how it is. I I see how it is. I'll remember this. I will remember this. Uh, Philip Deneau is in Nashville now. Okay, they're gonna be pretty good. At least they should be. Um, well, damn. I tr I tried trading with people. Tried trading down. I uh, tried getting a star player. That just wasn't gonna happen. So now what do we what do we do here? We don't need a. S I mean, we could use a center. Came out. I would like to take a forward here. That would maybe help us. So Hanzik could be a nice little addition. Stenberg, Hyde, Daniel Butt, or uh, Daniel Butt. Is that how you say his name? Butt. Gabe Perot, no. Might be better off going with like a... Uh, I'm going to go Hanzik here. I think he could be a nice little pickup here. He's a 72 overall top 6 forward medium. That's pretty good. Uh, we, I know defensively, I mean, we took our nice little defensive prospect. So, not going to hurt us a little bit. Not that much. Char Charlie Stremmel's here. Uh, I'm not crazy for that. Uh, I think we trade down here. Maybe see what we can get out of the second round pick. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's find a trade. Find trade. See what we can do here. Let's see. We don't really need this pick. We can gather a second for next year and a seventh. Second and a seventh. A second this year and a, just basically gather a third. I think that could work. I don't want Cam Atkinson back. There's a reason why I traded him. I'm willing to take the second and a third. A third for next year. The 54th. So, so, so what was the other one? Could get Mantha, but I'm not crazy for it. 52nd and 84th. I'd kind of rather have the pick for this year, so I'm going to take the deal with Florida. Drop down a little bit. Move from here. See what happens. See what we can do. Um, Tanner Adams. Cal Carlson. Michael D'Angelo. Hell no. No, no, no. We don't want another D'Angelo around here. We do not want another D'Angelo roaming around. We do not want that. No, 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 no. We'll take Emil Jarventi. And with our other pick here, we will take... No idea. Um... Fuck it. We're taking the goaltender. 6-6 six, six goaltender. Hrabel. You want to know something crazy? That doesn't surprise me. That does not surprise me at all that that happened. But look at us. We got Carter Hart's replacement. <laughs> No, that's just trade bait right there. That's just trade bait. We could do something with him. Uh, Justin Poirier. Let's go. Almost the name Dustin Poirier, like the UFC fighter, but not him. We're going to try to trade this pick here, this third. Uh, we really don't matter here. I mean, we have a bunch of picks. Uh, let's see what we can get out of this. Uh, Mark McLaughlin, Eric Goodbranson. I'm just going to trade it to... Eh, trade it to Anaheim. They need help. Looks like they could use some help. So they can get the pick. Uh, pick 95. I don't know who to take here. Uh, Marcus Vidic. Eh, eh. I mean, we really don't know anything about these players. We don't need goaltender. We just took one. Uh, 
know what? I trust my assistant GM. This don't matter to me. We're kicking our feet up. We're going into free agency. We're going to have to give, uh, what's his name? Uh, Velarde a big deal. Uh, we're going to have to. So, we're going to get on that. Give Velarde his deal. Go from there. So, Velarde needs a contract extension. So does Frost. Five. Perfect. This could actually be a steal of a deal. This could be a steal of a deal. Make this six years. 4.8. Finest. Finest. Frost, you want the same? If I get you on a cheap deal too. 5.2, maybe times five. Oh, that would be nasty if I got both of them on cheap deals. Oh, imagine that long term. Both of them cheap ass contracts. Oh my, we, we got something cooking here in Philly. We got something cooking here. Look at that. In just one year, we turned it around. Quick, re quick ass rebuild. That's what that is. That's a quick old rebuild. Uh, now nah, I gotta. I'm. Not, I don't want Brandon Lemieux. He can go. Uh, I guess we just buy in, boys. We just buy in and go for it. That's what I'm assuming we're just gonna go for it here. Try and get good. Be good again next year. Sign Patrick Kane if he's available. Oh boy. <sighs> See, that's a great idea. You, do you know the the pain it will bring me seeing Patrick Kane in a fly, one in a Flyers uniform, two back in the Wells Fargo Center. If you know what happened Game Six, 2010, you know. And also, we were the worst team in 2007. Don't don't for, remember this. We were the worst team in 2007. We lost the draft lottery to Chicago. And if we won that draft lottery, Patrick Kane's a flyer. And that game six goal never happens. Just a fun fact. Yeah, I guess you guys uh, kind of come to the conclusion. I've thought about this before. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I have. I'm, I, I'm, I'm still haunted by that 2010 goal. Still. Still haunted. Just like I am with the Kawhi shot. That still haunts me, too. Uh, Andre, Jackson, Cates. But I will, I will take a look at that. Depends on how much money he wants. We'll see. We'll go from there. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Eh, don't matter. Eh, good enough to me. Uh, I haven't fed it off. Yeah, we'll, we'll sign him. Why not? Uh, we don't really need you. You can go. Uh, Kolosov. Eh, why not? We have a lot of goaltenders in the pipeline. <laughs> we do. We have a ton of goaltenders. All right, hopefully Frost... Steins. Oh, he, he took the pay cut. Alright, so we, we don't... We gotta not jip... Uh, Velarde. We can't jip Velarde. Alright. So let's just sign Velarde. Do his deal. Get it done out the way. I mean, that's a, that is a phenomenal deal. 5.2 times 6. I want to get this done. He's here long term. He was great for us. Thank you. That pleasure of doing business. Now look at us. We are set going into this free agency. We got cap space as well. This was a mini retool. I, oh, I don't like using the word retool, but that's what we just did. That's what we just did. All right, Patrick, That that's actually a fair price. 6.8 mil. That is a fair price. See number 88 on a, well, he wouldn't be number 88 because that number is retired. So him not number 88 would also be weird. Uh, let's see what else we can get here. Besides, I'm, I am probably, I'm thinking about Patty Kane though. Patty Kane could be a really good addition. JT Comper wouldn't be bad either, but Patty Kane's Patty Kane. You gotta realize that though. Bertuzzi, Bertuzzi, he fits that Flyers mold, doesn't he, boys? He'd be a great penalty killer. Plug him in, second, third line. Be that gritty son of a bitch. Maybe bite someone in the ear off. That would be... Mm, that's a tough son of a bitch. I love that. That would be a beautiful signing. Uh, Yay or nay on Patty Kane? I'm thinking it. Yay, ho. Oh, I just see Sam Gagne. That is not happening. No. No. Carolina wants Patrick Kane. Not on my watch. I want Patrick Kane. Seven times two. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, I also want to bring in either another defenseman. I think that would be smart too. We have defensive holes that we need to fill. And who would be it? Brent Dumoulin wouldn't be bad. D Damon Searson. Dimitri Orloff would be probably pretty good for us. 
Defensive pairing three. Severson. Defensive pairing two. I don't want Klingberg, though. We don't need an offensive defenseman. Dumba. Alexander Carrier. Shatner Kirk. Ethan Bear. Ryan Graves. That's a little too much money for him. Especially that low of an overall. Susie. I mean, Dumba wouldn't be bad. Dumlin wouldn't be bad. But, like, Orloff actually is probably the best bang for your buck here. He could play left and right defense. Great defenseman. He's done phenomenal in Buffalo, uh, Boston so far. So, that would be a really good addition. Let's go for him. Dmitry Orloff. Uh, let's try... I guess you can go three years, maybe. Eh, three years. Let's go for Dmitry Orloff. Give him a three-year contract. See if there's any good worthy backup goaltenders here. Bring in Jonathan Quick. That would be something. Uh, Mackenzie Blackwood, Craig Anderson, and Delkovich. Let's just go. Was he good? Was he any good? Bring in Delkovich. Uh, One-year deal. Boom. And all right. Should we bring in Bertuzzi? I mean, that's a cheap contract for him. I probably shouldn't be saying this. Yeah, it is almost 50 years. It's 48 now. It's 48 years now. You guys have a way better chance to break yours than we have to break ours. So, I, it's a fair. It's fair that you can say that, though. It is fair. Orloff goes to the Leafs. Fuck Dimitri. Ned goes to the Bolts. All right, so we don't get either or. Okay, that 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 sucks. We need defensemen. Um, someone's gonna steal Petty Kane from us. I can already see it. Someone's gonna steal him from us. So, uh, substitution. Uh, Dmitry Kulikov. Mm, nah. Ian, no, no. Uh, Luke Shen. We could bring him back. Was he? He was really good, actually. So that wouldn't be a terrible. Wouldn't be terrible. Travis Dermott. He's young. We actually brought him in actually in the other Flyers franchise. The actual series. Scott Mayfield, all defensive parries. But I think Dermott would probably be a little bit of a better fit and younger. Bring him in. And well, let's go for Pertuzzi. Like I said, he plays like a flyer. So I actually love that addition if he's still here. Actually, I think he got signed. I don't see him anywhere. Yep, he got signed. Son of a bitch. Oh, boo. We go for Comper. JT Comper is a great player. So I like his game. So we'll get him. Uh, yeah, I like this. Hopefully, Patty Kane comes. Please. Patty Kane and Connor Bedard. That's nasty. That is nasty. I can't fault, but we got nobody. We No one wants to come here. <laughs> no one wants to come to Philly. Okay, I see how it is. I don't want Terrence Seiko. He wants too, way too much damn money. Way too much money. All right. Well, what about Kalorn? Alex Kalorn, veteran presence. He could help on the penalty kill. Eric, I mean, I don't know if that's really worth it, though, to be fair. Jano. We, oh, boys, we're, we're a little screwed here. If we got uh, Bertuzzi, that would have been a great addition. Uh -huh. Let's look at the trade block, see if there's anyone worthy there. And I might call it a stream. Uh, anyone worthy on the trade block? Please be someone, please. No one on Arizona. Swayman? Well, we don't need goaltending, so that's not worthy for us. I uh, went on with Ladder. Uh, Nachuskin, he's way too big of a contract. Oh, uh, no. Soupy? No, 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 no. Bobrovsky. Oh, yeah. Definitely want to bring back Sergei Bobrovsky. That's for sure. Definitely what I want to do. Uh, Nashville. One-year little retool. They got Bedard and Patrick Kane. That is nasty. That is going to be one nasty-ass lineup going against. Bedard and Patrick Kane all in one line. Whew. That's going to be good luck playing them. That's all I can say. Imagine that in real life. That would be... Oh, boy. That would be terrible. Right, there's no one worthy. Okay. Well, I think we're going to leave it here. I'm actually really happy with how this has looked. Uh, we... Well, we weren't supposed to be good. And we made playoffs. We upset the Leafs in the first round. I really like how this team's looking. It's long-term outlook. Is playoffs in our future again? I don't know. But we're going to find out maybe next time when we stream... So, thank you all for showing out, supporting. Thank you to the Leafs fan for uh, staying active in the chat. Appreciate it. And also, what was the other guy's name? Uh, was... Oh, yeah, Sagatars. Thank you for also doing the double screen. The laptop and the phone. Appreciate it. All right, I'll see you boys later. Take Have a good one.